Hi, welcome to you. Well, it may be Monday, but it's final day. No, not the final day. Don't panic, it's not the final day. <laughs> That's a long way ahead. It's the final of this group. I'll introduce you to the finalists in just a moment, but first, here's Carol. I'd just like to say how nice it is to be in December. It's Richard and I, it's our month, isn't it, December? Birthday well, boy and girl. We do. I only have a few days to go before uh, my birthday, Carol, but it's slightly after yours, isn't it? Yes, you th you're about four days after mine. I, of course, was born on Innocence Day. <laughs> <laughs> Were you born on the feet of the circumcision of St. Stephen? What? <laughs> Should jolly well hope not. <laughs> Well, here we go. These are our main people today, our finalists for this group, Hilary Hopper and Damien Eady. As you know, as you know, I'm sure you do know the, how we work this out. We've divided all our 61 Supremes into uh, groups, and we have a quarter-final, a semi-final, and a final of of uh, each group and then of course the finalists in each group come together for the Supreme Championship in just a few days from now. It's all getting terribly exciting. So Hilary Hopper and uh, Damien Eady. Uh, Damien of course from Blackpool have reached today's final with a narrow 52-46 victory over Julian Huff in a very entertaining semi-final on Friday. A great game. Damien originally appeared two years ago when he was champion of Series 28. He was also runner-up in the seventh champion of champions. His record is 13 wins out of 15 games. Welcome back and good luck to you Damien Eady. Hilary Hopper, the retired school teacher from Woking uh, in Surrey. Hilary was the second lady ever to become a series champion when she won series 13 in 1987, what, nearly 10 years ago. She showed she'd lost none of her touch when she returned last week to record uh, two comfortable victories, including a defeat of one of our champion of champions, Wayne Summers, to reach today's group final. Her overall record is nine wins and one draw from 12 games. Good luck to you, Hilary Hopper. <laughs> Well, Richard, we were all at the soccer results on Saturday evening, you know, looking at those uh, teams with a name after them. The That's right, yeah. yeah. Well, yeah, um, for those that missed it, it was just a little plan we had uh, on, on Friday's show to come up with all the football clubs that have got second names, like United, Town, City and so on. And uh, I'm, I suppose the whole country has been waiting with bated breath to see what I've come up with. And uh, that's all I've come up with, actually, four. <laughs> <laughs> No, I've got a few. Athletic, United. I think I'm one short. Town, City, Vale, as in Port Vale. I don't suppose many got that. Rovers, Villa, Orient, Crew Alexandra, Plymouth Argyle, which you said. Uh, Tottenham Hotspur, Wanderers, Albion Forest, Wednesday, North End, uh, County, um, Palace, Accrington Stanley, as it used to be. And for the people in Scotland, we've got some more perhaps later on, yeah? Yeah. Okay. Of Mivalovian. Okay, fair enough. That's a good game, but uh, this is the real game. The final. So, uh, Hilary Hopper and Damien, as we say, good luck. Here you go. Hilary, it's over to you. Continent, please. Thank you, Hilary. You start then with T. And another. Nice thing to start with. L. And another consonant. And R. Vowel, please. O. And another vowel. A. And another. And a vowel. Yes, another vowel, sorry. E. Consonant, please. Oh dear. Q. Um, another consonant. R. And another consonant, please. And another consonant. Thank you very much, Hilary. And that is L. OK, Hilary, here we go on round one. Seven. Seven for Hilary. Damien? Seven. Damien, seven? Realtor. Uh, Hilary? Oh, I put, I put Relator. I'm not sure about it. I put Relator. All uh, right. Relator. Yes. Uh, just spell that. R-E-L-A-T-O-R. -E yes, both, both E-R and O-R are fine. OK, so points for both. Mm. Yep. Yeah, that's fine. We, um, actually, that's all we got, because we were so impressed with that one. I, I, 
I thought, oh yes, of course, an American estate agent. And I was so engulfed in a dictionary that I didn't come up with anything else. So that's the end of that one, really. Okay. Right. That's all we, all we want you for. Just for one word. One word is enough. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Damien, your turn. Okay. Uh, vowel, please, Carol. Thank you, Damien. A. A consonant. B. <laughs> Another one. Will it be sit? No, it's not. <laughs> S. Uh, vowel, please. They haven't been in the car, those things. U. Consonant. T. Again, please. S. Vowel. E. Consonant. D. And um, vowel, please. Thank and you. a vowel. Thank you, Damien. And another A. Yep. That is it. And let's start the clock right now. Six. Abated. Abated, yes. And debuts. And debuts. De yeah, debuts and uh, abated. Yep. Mm, six for us too. Uh, abused, bust, uh, as in bust someone and busted, which is when you have bust someone down the road. No, it's not. Don't be silly. Anyway, it's bust, B U W S E D, and I haven't got any sevens. No, okay. No. Have you anything? Uh, David? No, just the same as Richard, I'm afraid. Yes, OK, well, that's it. Anyway, debut has been offered. That's the one we're putting on the board. OK. So, scores 13 and 13, round three. Hilary. Consonant, please. S. And another consonant. Another one, Hilary. P. And a third. And N. And a vowel, please. E. And another vowel. A. And another, please. I. A consonant. R. Another consonant. T. And a vowel. And a vowel. And that is U. And with that selection, let's get our brains in gear. Here we go. Time, say Hillary. Seven. Damien? Eight. An eight. Well, a seven is. Pasture. Is pasture now an eight? Painters. And painters? Mm -hmm. Yes, obviously, painters is fine, and it's all there for eight painters. Richard? Yeah, anagram of painters, pertains. And um, I'm not sure if the spelling's right. Petunias, the fl flowers, what do you think? Is that right, Spanish? Yes, that was fine. Oh. You could get that one. Yes, my auntie may be proud of that one. Yes, nice one. Eight, very, very good. Yes, OK, so painters there uh, and uh, several others, including petunias, which we had a huge correspondence uh, about a year ago and we had petunias, about a lonely little petunia in a what? I said it was cabbage patch and I was wrong. 5,000 people. So in a what patch? Onion. Onion, Onion. Onion patch. Mm. Yeah, the little petunia. Um, right, 13 and 21. And numbers now it is. Let's have some numbers from Damien. Uh, one from the top, please, Carol, and five from anywhere you like. Thank and you. five small numbers, Damien. Right. <coughs> that, and we'll have that. OK. The numbers then are five, three, and nine, four, ten, and twenty-five. And the target is 582. OK, so that's a little bit more on form at the moment. Five, eight, two, here we go.
So on 582, Damien. No, I've made a mess. Have you really? Sorry. Right, OK. Now, here's a chance for you, Hilary. Well, 581, but I might have made a mess of it too. Well, off you go. 325 to 75. Yep. Subtract the 10 is 65. Take away the 10, that gives you 65. Multiply by 9, and I think that's 585. I'm just going to say, yes, 585. And subtract the 4. And subtract the 4. I'm just checking you haven't used that. Yes, excellent, yes, 581. Yeah, good. Well, well done. That's excellent. Yeah. Seven points there, yeah. Well, what do you say, Vorders? Yeah, it it's, depends on how you make this 65, actually. If, uh, instead of doing the 3 times 25 is 75, if you say that uh, 4 times 10 is 40, and then add on the 25, that gives you 65. Multiply again, as Hillary did, by the 9, that gives you 585. Uh, then, if you take away the 3, you should have 582. So it depends on how you make that uh, 65. Well done, you. Right, so that's the way to do it. So we've got 20 and 21, so uh, everything is set fair for a very exciting part two, but we won't end part one without a word or two from Richard Dydens. Would you want a little poem or something then, Ricardo? Yeah, please. Think? I was invited onto this show, I must say, for my intellectual merit. I was told to find as many long words as I could, and not to mention the ferret. <laughs> <laughs> for when I heard what had happened, it sounded particularly bad. By far the worst experience that poor ferret ever had had. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know, it was, it was 20 years ago was that ferret, 1977, almost. He'll probably be a grey ferret by now. He'll be a grey ferret. <laughs> Uh, well, thank you for that. Round of applause. Round of applause for his uh, swan set. <laughs> OK, that's it. As I say, very close. 2021, see you in part two. Thank you so much. Sir, we'd like to join your vigil. Sorry? When do you expect the, uh, visitor? Well, they said. Half an hour. You've been in contact. Crikey, yes. Some form of cosmic transmitter. <laughs> I suppose so. 333, and you're through to Vodafone Free Pages, the new information service. No charge. Vodafone put you in touch? Yes, up to the minute advice and information 24 hours a day. <laughs> Vodafone Free Pages has details of nearly 2 million businesses and services. Out of this world. <laughs> Ah, they're here. We'll handle this. Man. Woman. Peace. Pizza? <laughs> I say, did you really cut out the outdoor life? You'll just have to keep on looking. Vodafone free pages. 333. You are not alone. You can't always give in to cold and flu. So to relieve all your cold and flu symptoms, Neurofen introduced Neurofen Cold and Flu. Haggerty Jewel Clean. Available at all branches of H. Samuel, Ernest Jones and other leading jewelers. Sweetheart, 
You know you can't. Well, I mean, James is a nice enough boy, but you can't possibly marry him. Can't I? Why not? Because he's predictable. I'm so glad you brought this. We can't get it over here. The unique balance of rich and smooth makes Nescafe gold blend. The thing about your father was, I never knew what he was thinking or what he'd do next. It was exciting. Wish you knew someone like that. Day, the final F for final of uh, Group F and uh, anyone's game here. Hilary Hopper, as you see on 20. Damien Eady there, 21. So let's crack on with you, Damien. Uh, consonant, please, Carol. Oh, dear. Z. Vowel. E. Uh, consonant. M. Another one, please. S. A vowel. A. Another vowel. O. Consonant. L. Consonant. S. And uh, vowel, please. And Thank you. Vowel. Thank you. And I. Thank you very much indeed. Here we go. Stick with five. Okay. Uh, Damien's five. Males. Males, yes. Yours? Moles. And moles. Yes, were you going to play with something else? Well, I wondered if you could have maize in the plural. Mazes. M A I Z E S. Uh, no, unfortunately, that wouldn't have been allowed. Oh. So, well, not risked, as it yes. were. Yes. Yeah. Uh, well, we're stuck on five here, Richard. Aimless. Yeah, yes. Yeah. This, uh, this, uh, an, an abbreviation of Richard Dyson's career. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's taken off as from two days ago when you first appeared on Countdown. <laughs> <laughs> yes, let's go on holiday together. <laughs> um, 25 and 26 then, still at one point. Uh, round six this is Hilary. Consonant, please. M. And another consonant? G. And another, please. F. A vowel, please. E. And another. A. And another, please. And O. Consonant? H. Another consonant, please. N. And a vowel, please. And vowel? And I. Thank you. Thank you. Round two. Mm. Round two. Round six starts now. Seven. Seven. Damien? Seven. Yours, Damien? Foaming. Foaming? Foaming as well. Yes, foaming for us as well. OK, well, we'll just look at that and then we'll call it a day, because that's the, the winner, unanimously chosen here by everyone in the studio, foaming there for seven. OK, so we now go to around seven with you, Damien, please. Vowel, please, Carol. U. A consonant. And that is P. Mm -hmm. Another one, please. J. Vowel. O. Consonant. <laughs> An uplifting word, yes. Y. Uh, 
consonant, please? D. Another one. N. A vowel. E. And a consonant, please. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. And C. Okay, uh, round seven. Let joy be unconfined. Seven. Seven again, Hillary. Seven. Right, Hillary, seven. Pounced. Pounced. Same. Pounced, pounced. Yes. Pounced. Well, well, in great agreement here, so pounced there for another seven. And we'll look at that. Thank you. So, uh, letters are over now. Scores 39 and 40. Heck. Numbers, Hillary, please. One from the top and any other five, please. Okay, we'll take that one from the top and then five from that end. All right, what will it be this time? Seven and seven, four and three, five and fifty this time. And the target is six, six, four. So, six, six, four is what we're after. Thirty seconds the time. Six six four, Hillary. Six six four. Good, right, uh, Damien. Nothing, I'm afraid. Right, look at the six six four then. Fifty plus five is fifty five. Okay, fifty plus five is fifty five. Multiply by three is one hundred and sixty five. It is indeed. Then seven divided by seven is one. Aha! Gives you the one. That's one hundred and sixty six. You're adding it on. And yes, sorry. Yes. <laughs> then 166 multiplied by 4 is 664. Uh, yes, it is. Yes, very good. Well done. <laughs> well, that's very good indeed. And uh, that's given us a cracking climax here. Look, 49 and 40. So to win, Damon, you've got to get the conundrum, mm -hmm. basically. Uh, well, do my best. You do your best. <laughs> I hope you will. Okay, here goes. Please now reveal today's crucial countdown conundrum. <laughs> yes, two seconds to say. Debauched. Yeah. So look. Yes. Well, phew. my heart's beating. I'm sure yours is as well, uh, Hilary. I know you take it very seriously. As well you might, because a terrific game, well fought, close right up to our, but with 59 points, you are the winner of this group and will go into the quarterfinals of the Supreme Championship. So well done to you, Hilary Hopper. And for you, Damien, the game is over. Mm -hmm. Wasn't to be, I'm afraid, no, am I? OK, well, we've had a great run with you, and it's great to see you back again. And uh, I know that uh, you've a lot of fans all over the place, not only in, in Blackpool. And you really called a Black Puddley in, is that what you yeah, I believe it? so, yeah. I've been called quite a few things, but, um, <laughs> but yeah. That's it. Well, we call you a good chap here, and uh, here's a little token of our appreciation. Thanks very, very much, much indeed. A very good lad, Damien Eady. Thank you. So that's uh, that little matter settled. Very quickly, tell you about uh, tomorrow. We start our last group tomorrow, and welcome back uh, these two. Tim Morrissey there. That's Tim. Remember him? A bit bigger than he was before. Toast of Dublin, Tim Morrissey. And Nita Marr, a very lovely lady from Edinburgh. They're on tomorrow. But for now, a final word to you, Richard. Yeah, I feel a bit bad today. I couldn't really get many words, but uh, did my best. As we reach the end of the show, 
Hillary moves on and sadly Damien must go. We'll be back tomorrow and we hope you will too. So from all of us here, doodaloo. <laughs>say goodbye to carol because she gets very cross toodaloo carol <laughs> toodaloo. i was just thinking um if you two did a show together it would be quite good wouldn't it the dick and digens show I think it would quite well. <laughs> hey, what about billing <laughs> <laughs> anyway that's it we start our final group tomorrow so please join us for that see you then goodbye There may be 50 ways to leave your lover, but it takes Montel Williams to uncover three of the most ridiculous ones. That's next on 4.